Good afternoon. Friday the 8th of May. This is the noonday movement snack. 12 p.m. Struggling to see you. Back doing my budgie impression. If this is the snack you're looking for, you've joined us at the preamble, the pre-broadcast broadcast. If it's not the one you're looking for, head on back. If it is the one you're looking for, stay here. For now, we are welcoming Movement Snackers, starting with Helen. Good afternoon, Helen. Uh, which means, here we go, are we in Devon or Cornwall, Helen? <laughs> I won't say they're both the same, but I just can't get in my head which is which. I think you're the one underneath, Devon, Cornwall. I think you're Cornwall, aren't you, Helen, I think. Uh, put me right, please, or out my misery. Scotland has arrived at the dawn. It is that time already. It's quite horrifying. This first four hours seems to go really quickly. But I have the trios here, I have the menu on a post-it. The most important things go on post-it notes. Uh, hello Jane, Edinburgh has arrived. What else? Who else? What are you doing? Diana is in from Somerset. Come on in. Uh, weather reports, please, or crowbarring reports, or Zoom reports, celebration reports. Anything to get me through this preamble. Three and a bit minutes to go. Kelaloo! Kelaloo! Ireland is in. Gosport's here. Hello, Maddie. Well, thank you, Jane. Got a weather report in from Edinburgh. Sunny now with a few clouds. I am really angling for a new career in weather, weather reading, presenting. No comments from you, Andrew. Uh, AD from Sunny Andover. Lots of stretches removing the spider web. <laughs> Yeah, AD discovered uh, some corners that needed a bit of cleaning during our mobility routine this morning. It's all that improved head turning enables you to reach the parts that the other 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 movements just don't reach. Or oh, I've missed something about woodpeckers. Who said something about woodpeckers? It's disappeared off my screen. Hello, Chris from Wales. Wales is in. Uh, Diana Ross, may I be excused today, getting ready for cream tea and Prosecco. Uh, yes, excuse Diana, catch up later, uh, or maybe much later. Uh, I don't want you trying this um, if you've had a little bit too much Prosecco. Um, crikey, they're all coming in so quick, I can't, I can't read them quick enough. I'll need to get my budgie legs on to, to follow them. Uh, Red Rita's in which means Germany is here. Back on track, Angela's in. Uh, Trevor's put his shorts on. Oh, we haven't done that, any short reports? Maybe we should do those, meaning attire, not like short, are you short? Are you wearing shorts? Trevor's reporting a woodpecker visit. Hello, Kate. Kate uh, has some uh, crowbarring report in the, under the guise of weeding. We, weeding counts. I think we're ready for a 3 2 1. This budgie positioning and crowbar means some extra lunges and uh, hip hinging as we go. Um, Angela, always I'm hardy. Okay, give me a thread. I missed something. I need to join the dots. I can't keep up with all the comments. All right, I think we're gonna do three, two, one, so you can all get back to doing what you're doing. Three, two, one, good afternoon. My name is Bex Townley. It's the noonday movement snack, the second set of 10 minutes in the accumulative movement minute bag today. The benefits bag, the benefits bag for life. Let's get going. So, we start every of these movement snacks with some circulation boosting. Pick your position. 
sit or stand, have a look at the, the movement that we're going to do and then decide if you want to try that in stand or sit position. So move between these, the stand and sit postures, whatever you think is right for you. To start us off, we have the circulation boost. A minute or minute or so of this rhythmical marching or walking on the spot with or without some, some upper, um, upper arm movements, upper limb movements. Keep using support during this bit. Keep this fairly low level on knees. It's really just to boost the circulation. Get us ready from this movement snack. Keep going if that's your standing option. Here is the seated option. Always hit walking forwards. Lift and shift, lift and shift. Lengthen through the centre as long as you can in the middle bit. And the seated circ boost either starts from the feet and ankles, utilising ankles, feet and toes, or it starts from the top end using shoulders. Can you see I've got a bent arm position? And if comfortable for you, bring those together. Or you could take it with a, a toe tap. Just pick the, the movement that's most appropriate for you. But this, after this minute or minute or so, we should just feel the need perhaps to take a deeper breath or a couple of deeper breaths. We shouldn't be exhausted, we shouldn't be breathless. Just serves to prepare us for this 10 minute snack. I've got three trios for you today. So the aim of these three little trios is to just uh, perform these movements, think about them, think about the posture, think about the supporting parts, think about the moving parts, and then crowbar them into your day. So the first movement of the first trio, focus on, on feet and ankles. And we've just done the circulation boost, which involves picking the feet up. What I want you to do now is just transfer the weight, but we keep the feet in contact with the floor. So now we focus more on the heel raise. That means we need even more movement from the feet, because I'm leaving my toes behind, so I'm squeezing the heels up. Now, if that is extremely comfortable, if you're really comfortable with that and you've got this effective heel raise position, here's another option. You may want to try transferring the weight. So we, we crowbarring in um, a weight transfer with some heel raise essentially. So you're going up and down. Take up lots of support with this. Maintain the lifted posture. Keep going with that, this is the standing option. The seated option is the same. We have the heel raises here squeezing through the heels or two together if feet ankles toes not an option you're going to focus on your your buttocks so you're going to squeeze the buttocks and release so you can contract the the whole surface that you sat on so you're literally giving your buttocks a squeeze and release and you'll see you'll you'll get a little bit of lift here as the big muscles here contract so if we're in stand focusing on the ankles and the feet. If in sit and uh, feet, not an option, you're focusing on buttocks and hips. Second movement of this movement snack, back knee bend, have a look, come sideways on. This is slow, this is controlled. Lots of external support, not looking for this to challenge your balance. We have a, a sweep back, a pick up, a return and a replace. A couple of those on the same leg. You're feeling your way around this knee bend literally. So it's it's all with control, no pace, no speed. Same on the other leg. Can you see I've got this backward extend first before I lift up from the front here. This is so when I when I pick the heel up my hips, uh, my thighs here are level. And you'll feel this in the back and we're looking to explore the, the knee bend and you'll feel this muscle at the back of the thigh. Keep up on support, keep your posture lifted, continue with that in stand, sit options for this. If you're working towards improving your sit to stand 
and improving your standing activities. Take a step forward using the feet and ankles and then using the floor, resist back. So you've got the ankles, feet and toes there and then the resist back. A couple on each leg and just feel the backs of the thighs working. Keep thinking and feeling how that feels around the knee. Stay within comfortable ranges of motion for you. If lower limb is an option on this one, we're going to return to the one of our mobility movements. So we're going to take the, the trunk turn. And on this one, you can start to add uh, a sideways reach. So we're focusing more on trunk. If lower limb is not on your menu, not an option. Or you may just want to focus more on upper body activities for whatever reason. Okay, third one of the first trio. Couple of options here. I'm gonna call this a stride knee bend. So this is our, our directional step plus a bend and a push back. Can you see how as I take the step, the support comes with me? So the, the support hand is always slightly in front, so it can offer me the support that, that I want. There's the, the heel down, a little knee bend, and go for a little oomph on the way back. A little bit of oomph. And to do the other leg, this is important, to do the other leg, step around like so. This is so that the, the supporting leg is always closest to the external support. And you might also want to try this here on the wall. Can you see I'm pushing back? Now, if you don't feel ready for that, that's, uh, that can be quite effortful. It might challenge your balance a little bit and it's gonna need quite a lot of strength. So if you feel that might be a little bit too much for you, we're back on the double knee bend. Finding your way around the, the thighs here, the knee and this, this hip hinge, can you see? Heels stay on the floor. And when I do this knee bend, I should always be able to see my toes. It leads with my buttocks. And if you can see, it's, it's, the, it's the same movement, but in a different position. In seated, now continue with that in stand, have a go with those. In seated, we're focusing on the, the action of the foot as we take that step, stepping there like so. And if lower limb not an option, focusing back on the trunk, back extensions from our morning routine. So lifting out of the centre and reaching, extending through the back. So those are your options. That's the first trio. I've got another trio. Can I, cr can I crowbar it in? Here we go, second trio. Sit and stand options exactly the same. Um, for this one, to free up use of both arms, you might want to just rest your hips on a fixed stable surface, be balanced, and we're gonna take the, the forward press and the down press. And this is where we're really, really strong support from the, from the trunk. And can you see I'm really deliberate with the, the wrist action here. And I'm pushing forwards and pushing down. And on this one, if you feel you can, you can start to, to creep that one up. So thinking about how your shoulders feel, how comfortable you are, with increasing that range of movement. Just work within these ranges that are comfortable for you. Really important that the support part, so what's happening in the lower part, the bit that isn't moving, is as important as the moving part because that's the strong support, that's the support structure that makes these movements with our arms even, even more effective, less effortful, easier, should we, shall we say. Here we go. Staying on the theme of trunk and arms, upper side reach. So this links into our stretches that we do at 4 p.m. and it links into functional reach and it links into balance and pretty much 
all activities of daily life requiring reach, reach, grab, lift, high shelves for whatever reason. Let's have a look. I'm going to use the wall for this one. Uh, you don't have to. Can be done at a lower surface, but the wall can offer us even more support. Have a look. So I'm going to face the wall. And if you want to, you can crowbar in a heel raise. It's up to you. So we take the reach, an extra reach there. I've turned sideways, so I'm facing the wall. I've got support on the wall here. I'm creeping up, creeping up, up on the heels, reach and down. This is exactly the same in sit position. If um, reaching the arm this high is uncomfortable or not right for you, have a look at this option. Still got my strong support at the bottom here. I'm facing the wall. I'm going to reach across so I'm reaching across rather than up and can you see this is our our trunk turn from our mobility so it's like a diagonal reach so what you can have you can come up or you can come to the side and the wall offers you even more support to do that in seated um, can often help to bring the hands together so you can guide that both hands up into these positions and you can just take a little bit of turn so combine the trunk turn with the reach or you can alternate so these trunk movements from our from our morning routine only really mean anything to us if, if it can do a job with our arms attached to it uh, here we go last one then because it's Funky Friday, Functional Floor Friday, and all of these movements relate to our mobility, strength, and power to also mobilize around on the floor, be that in the garden, be that cleaning, be that in the bath, be that in bed, or to get up from the floor. We want some wall press, and we've already prepared the shoulders quite a bit, so here's the options. At the wall, could be at a lower surface here, or it could be out of the chair. So if you're in a chair with arms, we can take this here or start to take that. If you are in the chair, always keep the elbows tucked in. And this, this pushing action from a, from a surface or from a wall requires strong support from the trunk. It's getting some strength out of the wrists. It's getting strength around the shoulders so that we can support our own body weight, which is really significant in context of bed, floor, any kind of lying movement. So that's your two trios. I've posted them up on the Facebook page if you'd like to have a look at those. The aim now of these, these little snippets of movement, these little snippets of functional movement, the idea is we've just put in 12, 14 minutes of that We've, we've thought about movement. We've moved through bigger ranges of motion. Um, now, if you're gonna be fairly sedentary for the rest of the afternoon, try to crowbar in one of those trios, perhaps every hour. If you're not sedentary and you might be out partying or you might be in the garden, just, just still think about some, some standing options to keep the ankles moving and maybe some opportunities to think more about functional reaching but you might just be eating tea scones and uh, having a party so if that's the case maybe I won't see you at four o'clock but I'll be here for a calming sway coordination and stretch maybe I see you at four uh, if not catch up later and if you are going to catch up on this one uh, we love to hear when you've done that so that I can have a little look keep, keep tabs on things and keep, keep us all on track